Hey, what's going on everyone? Nick Sapinero here from the right now under construction Divi home office that I've been working on and I'm here to do our monthly AMA. Now I want to first preface what I'm about to do by saying I might be looking down quite a bit uh, just because there are over 150 questions and I can't memorize the answers to all of them, let alone the questions. So uh, I'll be reading them off of the screen. So if that happens, that's why. So without further ado, let's just start from the top and get into it. First question is, is it possible to build an in-app exchange for Divi? It is possible, yes, um, and it's something that we have discussed, but nothing at all has been started and it's not in the current scope of our work. Next question, does an encrypted wallet need to be unlocked for staking? Is this secure? Uh, there is an unlock method specifically created for staking, um, and it is secure because it only allows staking when that method is called. Uh, no other transactions can be sent or anything like that. How do we see the funding that is left for the Divi team? Uh, well, we're not a public company and therefore we're not obligated to share anything about our finances technically with the public. Uh, that said, we are a well-funded organization and we have no concerns moving forward um, in terms of funding and neither should you. Next question, um, what is the Divi team's future plan for raising capital for the project? Uh, well, we feel that our revenue model is sustainable enough, even with the current prices of Divi, um, we should be able to sustain for some time uh, between the revenue and our current runway. Um, that said, uh, we do have uh, connections and opportunities with those types of people, with VCs, private equity firms, and private investors alike. Uh, should that need arise, of course, that, that is an option. Next question. <laughs> when do you reckon we could go live? Best versus worst, just an estimate. Uh, well, the best I can say right now is very soon. Um, probably soon. Uh, we're probably as close as we've ever been right now. Um, if you want to follow our roadmap, it's on the website. You can track our project uh, on the project board on GitHub. We do weekly development blog updates as well as videos, and you can always find us in our Telegram announcement channel and on Discord. Do you have a marketing plan for long-term and short-term? Yes. What is your plan to be able to place Divi as a replacement for currency? Um, well, in order to become a replacement for fiat, all of crypto, not just Divi, needs to stabilize, mature, and honestly offer viable alternatives to the current infrastructure. And of course, that's on our roadmap, uh, but it's, in my opinion, it's a pretty long-term goal. Next question is, do Divi have smart contract and what speed Divi coin? Divi will not support smart contracts uh, out of the gate. Um, and as for speed, transactions are confirmed within 60 seconds. Um, at, that'd be the maximum confirmation time, and they're spendable after six confirmations. Pretty typical crypto stuff. Is there a limit to when there could be too many nodes? Um, not really. The more nodes there are, the more inherently secure the network becomes, and uh, well, there could be a point where master nodes become out of reach in terms of acquisition because of the price, but that's about the only time that there would be too many nodes, but no, there can never be too many nodes, technically. Next question. Is there ample amounts of money left to run this for the next few months? Oh, I just answered that. Well, yes, we are financially stable. Will the mochi be working prior to redemption, and can I run multiple nodes? Yes, you can run as many nodes as you have the collateral for. And yes, the mochi will be included uh, in the launch. Are David Kelly and Mark Wazer still actively involved in the, in the project? AGI. No. Next question is, will Divi development be ongoing through the Lithu Lithuania transition? How so? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, it's still going on right now, and we've actually hired three new people, and we're con consistently looking for people. Um, really, you know, the, the Lithuania move is, is a big move, it's going to take some time. So, of course, the three new hires and the people that we continue to hire in the interim 
Uh, we'll be helping with continued and sustained development, and we hope that they'll stay on with us after launch. What still needs to be done for the mobile wallets to be released? Uh, mainly at this point, it's just testing and uh, getting through Apple's, you know, various hoops, jumping through those hoops. Um, we had started the process back when we were originally going to launch, but we stopped that, and uh, so we'll have to go through it again. Uh, and by the way, I'm, I'm going to skip any questions that I've already answered, so things like, can you give a goal date, stuff like that, things about finances, I've already answered that, so um, if your question is getting skipped, I'm sorry, but we only have so much time. Uh, are there realistic soft slash internal deadlines for the roadmap features? Yes, definitely. We have internal deadlines and, uh, you know, we manage the project internally and we publicize once things are finished. Uh, have you planned auditing the entire UX by an external uh, third party thoroughly? Yes, we work with a group called Pervade Security. Um, they're actually basically part of our internal team at this point. They are on Slack with us in our internal Slack channel and uh, we talk to them every day and they test all of our builds pretty much daily. Can we volunteer testing the latest state of the entire blockchain and UX? I, yeah, um, I actually, I want to open up the doors again to beta testers. Um, we just launched a new forum and if you go on that forum, you can actually apply to be a beta tester there and um, feel free to do that now at forum.diviproject.org. You delayed the mainnet launch. Will you catch up on the airdrop? I see this question asked a lot in the chats, so I'm glad it was asked here. Um, the answer is no. Um, we had a specific amount of DivX for the airdrops, and we set a certain time limit for the airdrops, and that budget has been exhausted. We're not going to put more money into airdrops at this point. Um, Divi Project, what are you looking forward to in the next month or two? Uh, launching, moving forward with the project, uh, promoting the mochi, going to conferences, and showing people how easy it is to set up a master node with Divi. Uh, yeah. Are larger exchanges 100% confirmed slash guaranteed for mainnet launch? Yeah, we're already on Symex. We didn't expect Symex to list DivX. And they did, which is great. Um, and they'll list Divi as well. And they're a top 20 exchange. And um, we, we believe that Symex will help uh, propel us into other top tier exchanges. I can't really talk about much more than that because uh, we are in talks with some, but NDAs prohibit uh, really any details. So 28 issues on GitHub. It's been the same all week. Explain, please. Uh, <laughs> Well, this was probably asked a while ago because I think we're down to 15 issues now. Um, and we really, to explain, we really don't close issues until they're closed internally. So the public GitHub is exactly that. It's a public repository. We do most of our development privately in a program called Visual Studio Online. And um, then it goes through testing internally. Then it goes to the beta testers. And the beta testers are pretty much the last uh, criteria that a feature or a bug has to meet before we say, okay, it's fixed, it's closed. Next, why is development taking so long? Most modern wallets have encrypt slash seeds. Um, well, actually our timeline was aggressively short uh, in terms of actual real software development. Um, it was obviously unachievable by the team we were working with, and yeah, most modern wallets do have encryption seeds. Uh, however, we, as many of you know, um, forked PIVX initially, which does not have encryption seeds or uh, HD mnemonic recovery, so we had to add that feature in. Will the Bitcoin talk announcement be updated? Outdated info currently. Um, we'll actually, we'll have to create a new Bitcoin talk announcement for launch. Uh, the person who originally posted that announcement for us on Bitcoin talk was using a, an account that they had purchased, which turned out to be someone else's account. Uh, the person who's, who actually owned the account reached out to us and of course we returned the account right away. Um, so we can't access that 
post anymore, but we'll make a new announcement uh, when we launch for Divi. Are you going to address the financial stability of the project? I already answered that. As of today, how many developers have been hired and debriefed in Lithuania? Like I said before, uh, the Lithuania process is gonna take months. Um, we have hired three new people in the meantime, um, but we're looking to hire more. If you're a developer, um, you know, reach out to us and apply. Now that there are multi-tier master nodes and one click, how do you adjust the marketing? Uh, so you mean, I, I'm assuming that this question is saying, um, or it means to say that now that others have developed one click and multi-tier systems, um, you know, I don't really think we need to adjust necessarily. We'll continue demoing and promoting the easy to set up master nodes, um, as well as, you know, the alternative income source that Divi is. And we'll be demoing to mainstream media. We'll be going to conferences. I'm going to Mondo NYC in October to speak on a panel uh, specifically dedicated to um, technical, technological side hustles. So that's outside of the crypto world, um, including us. So uh, I think for us, it's really about getting in front of not just crypto people, but everyone and showing them that you can make money with masternodes really easily with Divi. Um, now that said, you know, Lyft and Uber both exist. Apple and Android, they both exist. OS X and Windows, I mean, I could go on with this list forever. Point is, it's a free market. There's plenty of market share to go around. And uh, honestly, what matters is who does it best, not who does it first. So next question. <sighs> who is on the team? Who is, on the uh, who is a contractor and what do they do? This is a kind of a long answer, so I'm gonna read it. Uh, so Jeff, Michael and I are the founders. Jeff handles business development and legal stuff, primarily. Um, Michael handles the oversight of high-level technical operations. I handle all the web services, web services and low-level uh, coordination with de developers. So I'm more like the in-person person <laughs> for the developers. Um, so then there's Yura Alexishin. He's our lead blockchain engineer. Uh, Dmitry Kostanevich and Eugenie Lajan. Uh, they both work for uh, work for us doing wallet stuff. So mostly they're working on the GUI. Um, Right now, Eugene, Dimitri, and Yura are on contract uh, with a potential to move into FTE positions. Uh, Edwina, of course, a lot of you guys know her. She's pretty much our jack of all trades, but technically she's our administrator. Um, she handles pretty much everything, support requests, KYC, uh, evaluations, um, community management. She does everything, she's amazing. Uh, Larissa Bunziak, she's our account representative from Corp Communications. Oh, and Edwina is a full-time employee. Uh, Larissa Bunziak is our account rep representative from Krupp Communications. Um, she handles all our PR efforts, and she's on contract. Frisco Chavez, he's right back here. <laughs> he does all our videos. He's a full-time employee. Uh, Tim Sanders, business development advisor. Heidi Krupp and her husband, Darren Lissiton, uh, both help us uh, or advise on PR and branding. Uh, Doug Scott's our marketing marketing advisor, and uh, we do have another advisor coming on that uh, I'm excited to announce, but I can't do it right now. So, <laughs> hope that answers that. Does the team uh, have backup plans in place for additional funding if needed? I've already answered that. Yes, if need be. Prior devs have stated that there is no confidence in the team. What will change now? Well, I think if you've been following along closely enough, um, you can see that the new de development team that we built is miles ahead already. And um, I'll let you draw your own con conclusions there. When will we see meaningful GitHub commits? <laughs> I can't, I really can't accurately answer a question uh, that is so subjective, but there's over 500 commits on GitHub. I don't know what is meaningful and what's not to you, so I can't really accurately answer that, I'm sorry. Um, why, why has there been so much team turnover and turmoil? People, uh, people tend to move on with their lives. You know, they choose to pursue other projects. It's how it works in any business. Uh, I'm sure you've all worked jobs where people quit 
or uh, get fired or move on. We're a small team, um, so that makes the turnover a little bit more noticeable. I wouldn't consider this turmoil. <laughs> uh, if you're referring to the issues with our previous development contractors, uh, you know, that was an unfortunate turn of events. And, uh, but in my opinion, I think we're recovering pretty well with uh, relative grace, if you will. Is the team's plan to rewrite code from scratch or work with AGI's code? Uh, much of their code was fine. Um, I guess the issue with most of it was just that it was incomplete. That said, we did end up refactoring and rewriting uh, some of it. So, and in some cases, in some cases, entire features were, were rewritten, but uh, no, it's not completely being scrapped. Uh, how often does Jeff check in with his dev and exec team on project status? Um, I would say constantly, <laughs> almost annoyingly so. Although the way the company is structured, uh, we do have our respective areas of responsibility. Um, so Michael and I are more in charge of, like I said earlier, the technical aspects of the business. And Jeff is more in charge of like business development, legal. Um, in a given day, Michael and I may not speak to any of our lawyers or any of our uh, you know, business counterparts. Um, but instead we'll get like an update at the end of the day from Jeff. And we, we usually have like a team sync uh, two or three times a week where we go over everything together, including, uh, you know, Michael and I will give Jeff an update on the technical stuff, so. Let's see, how many full-time devs are currently on payroll? I think I already answered that. Uh, what quality control measures will be implemented in Lithuania to ensure quality code? Well, we'll physically be in Lithuania. It's not, we're not outsourcing to Lithuania. I think it's important to make that distinction um, Michael's even offered to, or volunteered to move there for an entire year if need be, uh, which is probably necessary. And of course, I'll be out there um, for at least three months to get things set up with him. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be just like it would be here if we had a development shop. With There's a hierarchy and a project manager and, a, you know, um, it's, it's structured correctly, <laughs> I guess is the answer to that. Um, I guess to ensure quality code, we'll have QA engineers and stuff. So, why is the Divi blog fluff? <laughs> Michael is writing articles about BTC and not Divi. Uh, again, that's a subjective question. I mean, fluff is in the eye of the, of the beholder, so uh, Michael can write whatever, whatever he wants. I can't control what he writes about <laughs> if he wants to write about Bitcoin or Divi or whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Where is everyone physically working? Jeff, Michael, and Nick. So I live in California. Uh, Michael is in Washington State, and then Jeff lives in Costa Rica. Clar clarify, do all team members work remotely? Mark, David. Yes, all team members are remote. 100% um, remote com company, and Mark and David aren't part of the company anymore. Why was the website removed Oh wait, I'm sorry. Why has the website removed all staff except advisors and exec staff? Um, well, we're in the process of adding everyone back. <laughs> it can kind of be difficult to get everyone to uh, send in their, their pictures, but um, yeah, we're updating the website. You can already go on there and you'll see Edwina. Edwina is on there, Frisco's on there now. Uh, we'll have Larissa on there soon. And you know, as we get images and bios from everyone, we will add the rest of the team. Um, please release transparent list of who is on payroll currently. I think I already kind of answered that. Um, how can you vet Lithuanian devs to ensure best quality and avoid AGI repeat? I think I've gone over Lithuania enough by now. Uh, so rewind if you need to know more about that. Uh, serious concerns, RE, lack of accountability, who is managing what these days? Again, I think I've answered the roles in a previous answer. No exchange listings, no mainnet, no token swap. What was done Q1 to quarter two? <laughs> we never really planned on listing 
Div X on any exchanges prior to launch. Um, DivX was always a placeholder. I think we've been incredibly transparent regarding our launch issues, and you can follow all our progress in a multitude of locations, which I described above, and we'll leave uh, some links at the end of this video. And a ton of development was actually done during that time, the quarter one to quarter two, uh, whether it was from a research standpoint or an actual code uh, creation standpoint. You know, we were trying to release a mobile app, a desktop app, and a blockchain um, that was a lot more than a fork. So, um, you know, I think some of our expectations may have been relatively unrealistic. And uh, but again, I think we're I think we're recovering from that uh, sort of <laughs> aggressive timeline. How feasible is Q3 launch with the current resources? Q4 2019. Honestly, very, very, very feasible. <laughs> What are the top three items on the current action plan for the next four weeks? Test, fix bugs, and launch if possible. How many devs will be hired in the next month? Well, that's a difficult question to answer because hiring takes a bit of time. People have to go through a few different interview processes. If it's a dev, I mean, you have to go through a regular interview, a technical interview, uh, you know, where you take basically a test and you have to be a good culture fit for the company. I mean, it, it takes a while to hire, so um, I can't answer how long it, or how many will be hired in the next month, but we are actively seeking new hires and we've hired three people already. Question for Jeff. What additional resources can you give Michael and Nick? Well, we're a team and we share all the resources we possibly can. I don't know if he could give us any more than he already does. What happened in the Friday Easy Crypto Tutorials? Well, right now I think we have some pretty <laughs> pressing issues to focus on. Um, we'll get back to the educational tutorials once we launch, once things are just a bit more settled. How can one get into developing dApps using Divi as an example? Um, well, we don't have a DAP framework per se, but we do have JavaScript, JavaScript implementation of the uh, RPC, so you can write simple things. Um, you can find that on our GitHub. What countries will be the main target for adoption at first? So, you know, I think this is partially a philosophical question, but in the... <laughs> Uh, sense of time here. I'm going to just say smaller European countries, India and Asia seem to be the most prone to crypto usage and adoption will honestly happen where crypto is needed and I think countries like the United States and the more developed European nations will come later. Um, but that's just my opinion. Looking forward to the launch. Been hodling for six months hard and adding more 24-7. Awesome. Thanks for your support. Um, can we have a Divi, the Divi guitar riff from the YouTube videos play when opening the wallet? Maybe. In a future release, probably. Are there plans to interact with either EOS or Ethereum smart contracts? Not at the moment. What is the strategy concerning upcoming Bitcoin conferences, speaker booth? Like I said, I'll be at Mondo NYC in October. Come out and see us. And of course, we'll take any other opportunities as they arise. How many active beta testers do we have that provide feedback? We have about 10 guys um, that are really active. Um, four or five of them probably are like leading the charge, if you will. And uh, but like I said in the beginning, we want to open the doors up to more testers. When do you plan to integrate some type of Google Auth into the wallet? It actually wasn't our scope of work initially. Um, it kind of got pushed out to the next release, but we'll do it as soon as possible. It's definitely a, a major concern, or not concern, but something we really want to do um, very quickly. What is the minimum value of Divi needed to support the team month to month? Uh, well, I think even at the current value, we'd be fine if we're only paying in Divi. Um, I, we really don't need to rely strictly on Divi, that's the thing. Um, so that's a tough question. But uh, yeah, like I said, we really don't need to rely on Divi right now in the near term to pay our employees. So. Um, Minimum value, a dollar, I, I don't know. If we really only wanted to support on Divi, it's hard to say, I have to do the exact calculation. 
Um, is there a help desk system being developed? Progress. Yeah, you can actually log support requests now. Just click the login sign up button on our website and that will um, bring you, once you sign in or log in, you'll be brought to an account panel and you can open new tickets and you can track the tickets that you have opened and um, they'll be answered as soon as they can be. Who's considering moving to Lithuania? I already answered that. Uh, is Cryptopia aware you are resetting the blockchain? Are they still listing? Yes and yes, and we're in direct contact with them. Have you looked into Skrill to purchase Divi? How about Shapeshift? I've never heard of Skrill. And yes, we've looked into Shapeshift. What lessons were learned that you plan to utilize in the future? Honestly, the biggest lesson I've learned is uh, set realistic deadlines, or don't set deadlines at all, actually, would probably be more of the answer. And um, I guess build an internal dev team <laughs> and uh, really just have your own process. Are future developers paid in fiat, Divi, or a combination? It depends on the developer. Uh, some of them are happy to take crypto, others are need fiat, um, some are on contract that uh, require fiat, so it just depends. What exchanges have you decided not to pursue that were on your list in 2018? Um, I don't think we've officially decided against any of the ones who've agreed to list us, uh, but deliberations are ongoing, and uh, we may even open that up to community deliberation, uh, depending on how NDAs and stuff like that permit. What are you doing to relaunch differently so your seed masternodes don't accumulate co coins again? Uh, we've actually completely changed uh, the way the Genesis block and Genesis wallets are configured so that, that won't happen again. How many nodes type will the team turn into MNs at launch? Uh, well, we have our vested co coins, which will account for three diamond nodes. And I can't speak about individual team members and their holdings, but um, I'm sure others will run nodes as well. Will there be any transparency on how the 8% rewards are spent um, and how? So yes, the multi-signature wallet address will be public and uh, many of the non-development expenditures will go through governance and be discussed transparently. Any plans for paid articles such as the Merkle, uh, Cointelegraph, at relaunch? We've been on the Merkle. Um, we tried to do a paid thing with Cointelegraph. They never did it. <laughs> uh, they just kind of took our money. So we're not, we're not big on advertorial stuff. I think that is a big issue in crypto, the fact that you can just pay to go on major blogs and websites. Um, you can look at our wiki, though, to see the past media we've gotten. I think with our with our PR, you know, we've already been on CNBC, we've been on Cheddar on the New York Stock Exchange, um, Bloomberg and stuff like that. So, you know, major, major publications have already picked up Divi for free. <laughs> so, um, you know, we'll probably just continue to pursue uh, media that way. When do you plan to implement the Bitcoin wallet into Divi? Uh, it'll be available on mobile uh, upon launch of the mobile wallet. How often will external audits occur? And will we get, oh, and will you post results? Um, we get audits on every build uh, as to not saturate you with small incremental changes. Um, we'll be posting um, security audit uh, reports for just basically release candidates and official launches or official releases. Uh, what are the biggest challenges for launching Mochi Cloud? Nothing's stopping us, and it's in process as we speak. With the dev delay, are you working on designing governance proposals? Yes, so big, big thing uh, that our forum was created for is to discuss governance. And you can go on there now, and it's at forum.divyproject.org slash C slash governance, and you can start engaging in that conversation. What specific actions are each of listed advisors performing to help Divi? Um, this is kind of a long answer, but Tim does pretty much everything from <laughs> engage with media, uh, help with internal discussions and questions, investor relations, and uh, so much more. He's amazing. I love Tim. Krupp, 
I think it's pretty obvious what Heidi does. Uh, Doug help, helps us package our message and connect with potentially beneficial collaborators. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see, does, sorry, does Divi plan to sell any of the 8% OTC? So available to all? Uh, I don't know how I can legally answer that question. <laughs> um, selling OTC is kind of a gray area right now. Uh, so let me get back to you on that one. Will you display what percentage of DivX was redeemed for Divi in real time? Yeah, that's a great idea. And uh, it's something that a couple community members have brought up to me to put on the redeem page. So I'll be adding that before we go live. What is your strategy to increase your so social media presence? Um, that could take a while to answer, <laughs> but uh, let's just say more consistent and more quality efforts across the board. Would you consider bi-weekly AMAs for a few months? After this, kinda, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is very long, so yeah, we'll probably consider that. Specifically, how do you plan to increase female involvement in Divi? Uh, I th I'd say we plan to increase female and male involvement the same way by just offering a really solid user experience. Um, I am conscious of the fact that less than 10% of crypto is made up of females, um, as far as you know, any relevant research can determine. Um, but we do have some female advisors and female employees, and you know, hopefully they can help us engage with uh, female crypto participants. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I'm not a female. I don't want to sound arrogant and say something that I can't uh, truly understand. Does Divi plan to work with DApps? I've already answered that. Uh, what is Divi's meetup group stash strategy? Well, we hosted a pretty successful meetup in New York City. Um, that actually led to us being listed on Symex, and that was in June. And I think if we want to do more, we'll probably do the same style, like a panel. Is there a plan to integrate YubiKey or similarly, similar hardware keys? Um, I'm not going to name any specific devices or companies, but yeah, it's on our, it's on our list of things to do. Um, do you plan to acquire any type of DLT type licensing? Um, if, if necessary, yeah, I mean, we'll always, I mean, we've been very clear about this from the beginning, we'll always comply with any regulatory uh, things <laughs> in any of the countries that we plan to operate in, so if the need arises, sure. Please speak more about the Divi Foundation, progress, obstacles, etc. Foundation set up in Panama, Cuba, it's a non-profit entity, not sure what else to say about that. Will the wallet point to crypto made easy tutorials Nick is developing? It's a cool feature idea. I'll, uh, I'll consider it. You should open a, open a request, a feature request on our GitHub issues page if you want that. Do you plan to create tooltips toggle on off for the wallet? Uh, the wallet has some tooltips in it, yeah. Will there be a beginner advanced mode or beginner slash advanced mode in the wallet? Advanced users uh, are free to use the console that's built into the wallet if they want, and that would be an advanced feature. Um, have you considered some type of referral program? That's tricky. Uh, just because when you get into referral programs, you're kind of toe on a fine line. <laughs> and we don't want to cross that line. So that said, we do have some unique ideas for sales. Um, but it would probably be geared more toward like higher level uh, affiliations, commercial affiliations and stuff like that. Not necessarily like a peer-to-peer -peer referral program. Do you plan on working with any type of gift cards? If the opportunity arises, yeah, sure, but uh, it's not something we're focused on right now. Will Masternode holders eventually have the ability to control spork attributes? Yeah, um, I mean, it's something that we discussed, and it would probably be more of something to discuss further with uh, the governance discussions that are going on. Any plans on insurance if the wallet is hacked? Like business insurance, I guess, is the yeah, 
I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure what type of insurance you're asking for here. If you want to re-ask that question the next AMA, go ahead. But um, yeah, I mean, business insurance is, is a must, right? What are the plans for full stack development over the next 60 days? Check our roadmap, check our project board, blog, announcements channel. Uh, will there be any adjustments made to the team coin escrow based on delays? No. Were investors notified of delay KYC American issues through newsletter? Um, so yeah, I mean, members of the community were notified through a variety of channels about both of those things, um, including email. I think it's also important to distinguish the fact that there's no no one's investor and no one's an investor in Divi. Uh, coin holders are not considered investors um, in the eyes of pretty much any legal entity or government body. Um, but I know what you're trying to say. How many people right now are dedicated to blockchain development? Names. Rewind. Answer it above. Let's see. What type of expense report do you explain, uh, plan to expose to the community? <sighs> Governance proposals will be submitted by uh, both the team and community members alike. And that is the only aspect of the budget that will be publicly exposed. Um, it's obviously, I mean, we're going to be using some of the funds for development and marketing. Um, but we're not necessarily required to expose that exact number to the public. Uh, will there be a public test net testing to avoid problems we saw at launch? Um, yeah, I mean, we ran a public test net for quite some time. We just uh, incremented the protocol and kind of reset everything. So we're back to just beta testers. Um, so we probably won't do the public test net again just because until we have really solid documentation on how everything works. We don't want people just spinning up nodes and potentially uh, having misconfigured nodes accessing the network. There's a lot of technical issues with that. Any thoughts for a TED slash TEDx talk? I'd love to do one personally. <laughs> um, I mean, we'll see what, what happens in the future. Any post-launch bounties planned to incentivize community involvement? Yeah, I mean, there'll be plenty of opportunities to earn Divi in the future. How will the charity 2% be allocated? Payments confirmed? We are in talks with a few different organizations and individuals uh, who run nonprofits or charities. Uh, nothing's been confirmed yet, though. Do you have an estimate on startup costs for the Lithuania office? I have generally, I have general numbers for that, but I don't think anything we're ready to expose yet. When the time comes, we'll, we'll probably be a little bit more transparent about that. There's so many things to consider still with that. Plans on insurance again. Uh, will Masternode rewards also 100x like the coin supply? I assume so. Yes, everything scales accordingly. Um, what is Nick's current status? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm fine. That's my current status. Uh, why is Jeff in Costa Rica instead of with his core team? We're all remote. I don't think there's any need to single Jeff out there. Um, why is team wasting ICO funds on first class international travel? Never once has that happened. <laughs> Ever. I'm sorry I'm laughing. Uh, there are no silly questions, but um, I don't even know where you got that idea in your head. I'm sorry. Can any funds be recovered? I mean, we, we sit in, in like small seats. <laughs> Frisco can tell you came on the last trip. <laughs> oh man, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, can we, can any funds be recovered from AGI? Is AGI still involved? Um, I can't really discuss the former, but uh, to the latter, Again, no, they're not involved. Can Jeff be replaced by a competent crypto CEO who will control his team? Come on, man. Why is Jeff blaming Nick for this disaster? If anything, blame AGI. Jeff has never blamed me for the failed launch, ever. 
Zafar, Dayton, Barry, Phil, Kelsey, Kalani, Maxwell, Sean are all gone. Why? I'm going to answer this thoroughly, so get ready. <laughs> Zafar was a contractor from the early days uh, who didn't have the skills we needed. Dayton has moved on to create his own company, which I actually helped him develop the idea for in school, when we were together in school. Um, Barry has taken somewhat of a sabbatical. We still chat, hang out all the time. Phil, again, a guy from the early days who didn't have the skills we needed. Uh, Kelsey is actually still on board. Um, she'll be doing more for us uh, in the near future. She is a mom, so uh, and she has her own business, so she's busy, you know. She'll be back around. Kalani was a founder who decided to move on to pursue his music. Maxwell is actually one of my best friends. Uh, he really was just helping us raise seed funding in the beginning, so he wasn't a long-term part of the team necessarily. Um, and Sean moved on to start his own, I think it's a clothing company. Again, I talked to him all the time. I talked to all these guys for the most part uh, frequently. But uh, the bottom line is people have lives. They move on. And uh, simple as that. What is a short-term plan, aka three to six months? Uh, actually, we'll be publishing a, a roadmap, a new roadmap after launch, and after all the features that are on the current roadmap are complete. Uh, let's see. Will any part of the Divi system be? Excuse me. <laughs> will any part of the Divi system be closed source? Um, yeah, certain aspects will be, like the mobile wallet. The blockchain will always be open source, though. Steam prevented forks in the beginning with licensing. Divi? Um, but we can't really stop someone from forking an open source GitHub repository. And like we already have like six or nine forks. Uh, why do people feel free to cause FUD to buy Divix cheaper? <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that was a rhetorical question. Do you believe redemption will happen before October? I believe so, yes. Will Masternodes day one be with the one-click Masternodes to include non-technical users? I'm going to rephrase that for you. Will the Mochi be available on launch? Yes. Does Nick still working as a DJ? Man, I haven't played a gig since February. Um, Divi's kind of taken over my life, and honestly, I couldn't be happier about that. One-click Masternode has uh, disappeared from the roadmap. Is it complete or out of scope? It's actually, it's been added back in. That was a mistake on my part. Will redemption with MetaMask be tested with the beta tester team? Of course. What measures are being taken to prevent early Masternode reward dumping? That's not something we can control. Where does mobile development fall on the list of priorities? Hi. Where will the next three months of priorities be posted? When will the next three months of priorities be posted? Right after launch, on the roadmap, blog, all that stuff. But basically, I'm gonna rephrase this question, but it's basically, have you considered adjusting an award percentage to fund a referral system? Um, and we are discussing changing the reward percentage and you can follow that discussion in the governance uh, forum topic, uh, but it hasn't been decided and it probably won't be for a referral system. How will the AMA page be managed? Items crossed out that you answer. I'll probably just move the old questions to another page and then I can attach the video of all the answers. And what else? Will there be a public beta before resetting the change? Uh, beta will always be private uh, because we really need like advanced users to work with us um, to limit the support requests and stuff like that. It just makes more sense from a feedback loop standpoint. Um, from meeting in NYC, what were the big takeaways? A better organization is a must, and um, a lot of steps have already been taken on that front. I'm really happy with the direction we're heading. Have you considered a community ideas board similar to the AMA page? Check out our forum. Yes, we have considered that. <laughs> Are the lottery blocks ready to go with relaunch? I actually won one today in our beta testing. Okay, so that's about it for this AMA. Uh, that about wraps it up. So I really want to thank everyone. If you stuck around the whole time, I really applaud you and thank you for that. Um, if your question wasn't answered, and I hope it was, you can always ask it again on our AMA page. The link is always in the description. 
Um, and you can always reach out to us on Discord, Telegram, Twitter, and all the other social medias. And I'll see you guys next month in the next AMA.